125. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Jamie Friend Colors. I have tried to do this intro so many times, it's ridiculous, but I'm with it this time. So today we're doing our last type of color scheme, at least that I have planned. This is a tetrad, which means we're gonna have four colors. It'll be two sets of complementaries. And complementaries, if you remember from our complementary video and from our color wheel, is that they are ones that are straight across the color wheel from each other. So that's what we're going to do today, is we're gonna pick two sets of complementaries to make a color scheme. So I kinda wanna do this a little more um, systematically, like I wanna pick the colors. So, just so I know that, you know, because we've been doing it random so far, and I just want to have a little more control today. I just feel like it. So, um, let's see. I love yellow green, and the opposite of yellow green is red violet. So, I think we should definitely have this in one of our color schemes. And then... Yellow looks so good with it, so yellow and violet. I think that would be a really pretty color scheme. What do you think? You can't answer, so you're just gonna have to go with it. <laughs> okay, so that's one color scheme. And then let's pick a color scheme for Friday. Um, ooh, blue-green would be fun. So blue-green and red-orange. And then, hmm. Should we do maybe yellowed orange and blue violet? That would be really different. Let's do that. Just cause. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me clean this up and grab a picture to color and we will start at it. So I want to do a picture out of this book. It's called Mythographic. This is the animals edition there are. There's like an imagination edition and then I think there's a couple more coming out this year. I'm not sure. Um, I'll link it in the description box down below. But they're, they're really cute pictures. I've done a flip through of this book. It's very cute but they can get a little convoluted. A little like the Kirby Roseanne's book where they just feel a little busy. So sometimes it's really fun to color block those ones that are a little busier. So I thought it would be fun to do. Okay, that's all I was saying. Let's move on, Jamie. Man, I'm on one today. Okay, so this is our color scheme. This is our picture. Anything I use will be in the description box down below with links so that you can find what I'm using. Feel free to use whatever materials you have. You don't need to go purchase anything special. Just use what you have. If that's your kid's Crayola crayons, use them. Um, coloring is for relaxation and fun, and it really doesn't matter what we use, but I do put everything down there so you can find it if it's something you would like to purchase. Um, I also put everything on the screen right here so you know what I'm using when I'm using it. So let's zoom in and get started.
Alright, so I misspoke earlier. We're supposed to be using violet instead of blue violet. Um, so this does lean a little bit to the blue side. So when we add our pencils, which we're going to do here in a second, I'm going to make sure I have um, real violet colors. So I'm going to use Parma Violet and Violet. and some dioxine purple to really make sure that those look violet or purple rather than blue purple. That's my goal anyways, apologize for that. Um, I'm also going to use mulberry for my red violet and dark purple for my red violet. You can see that those are much, they have like a red undertone compared to these. And then my yellow green, I'm going to use yellow chartreuse and chartreuse. And then I'm thinking olive green to put in some nice shading. Yeah, that'll be nice. And then for yellow, I have canary yellow and deco yellow. So those will help shade there. I'm sorry about that. I just got distracted. So hopefully that doesn't confuse anyone. Um, I didn't color all of the jellyfish. I thought we could do him in just pencils. So I'm going to use, actually, I think I'm going to take a break. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a break and then when I come back, I will color these with the pencils. So, I will be back in a second. Alright, I am back. I am refreshed. Feeling better, better about life. I don't know. I got just kind of drained. So, I'm going to continue on with this picture. Um, I think I need just slightly darker color to shade the yellow. So I'm going to go, I'm going to pick um, yellow ochre. It's one of my favorites to shade yellow with. And so I'm going to use it.
right, let's take the violet. Jellyfish, dark Right here he is. I think he looks amazing because um, jellyfishes are very uh, light colored and translucent so I decided to leave him kind of white and just kind of shade with those colors. So I'm just pulling. This is our red, yellow, green and yellow, violet. Tetrid color scheme. I think it looks really nice. Not overly um, detailed, but I think the color combinations are really pretty. This is not one. This um, color scheme. <clears throat> a Tetrid color scheme of picking two sets of complementaries is not something that is a go-to for me, and so it was fun to see what um, it kind of looked like all together. A lot of times I will start with a color or a color combination. Say I was coloring with red and yellow green and I needed another color. I would more often than not look at my color wheel and pick something that was right next to one of these colors and had that connection. And so maybe I would pick yellow because it's right next to yellow green. And then if I needed a fourth color in my picture, I'd be trying to make another connection 
and I'd go, oh, purple is the opposite of yellow, so maybe a little bit of purple would look good together. And that's how I would kind of come to a color scheme like this. I definitely, me personally, I would not pick these four colors out of my box and say, I'm gonna color a whole picture with these colors. It would be a ongoing process of decisions on how I would add another color to my color scheme. So, Anyway, just something to think about. I hope you guys have an excellent week and that you find time to relax and color. I hope you're enjoying this series. Please give it a thumbs up and helps me out. And I'd love to hear from you in the comment section. So leave me a comment and I will see you guys next time. Bye.